Hi there, my name's Kayla. I'm a program coordinator. Hi, I'm Michaela and I'm a mental health educator. We both work at CMHA Subway Manitoulin. So have you ever heard of the substance use continuum? It shows how substance use can range from abstinence, so not consuming a substance, to a disorder. Before we get into the continuum, we wanted to go over some terms. So when you hear someone say substance use, this simply means using a substance. It includes any psychoactive substance, including legal and illegal drugs. This covers a range of behaviors, including occasional and regular use. So now that you know what substance use is, you might understand how a substance use disorder differs. This is considered a health condition, it is diagnosed when a person's substance use leads to health issues or problems, maybe at home, school, or work. And symptoms can range from mild to moderate to severe. When someone is affected by a substance use disorder or addiction, they crave the drug and continue using it despite the harmful effects. The substance becomes the focus of their feelings, thoughts, and activities. Before we jump into the continuum, it's important to note that people use substances like alcohol or other drugs for many different reasons. While it's easy to think of people who have a serious uh, consequence because of alcohol or drug use, many people use substances without experiencing serious harm. You may be wondering why it is that why is it that some people have problems with alcohol or drugs while others don't experience harms? The other important piece is how and why people use drugs. Every person has their own life experiences, personality and family history. We all have unique problem solving skills, support systems and goals too. These are just some of the factors that influence how and why people might use alcohol or drugs. For example, someone has a hard time coping with stress might find that alcohol can help them ignore difficult feelings. Someone else might use drugs to find relief from symptoms of mental health problems or other illnesses. Another person might use drugs out of curiosity and someone may never use drugs. To demonstrate how all of this works, we're gonna show you again the substance use continuum. So on the screen, we see scenario one. So this uh, might be something that's beneficial. So for example, you're celebrating a special occasion or a holiday and you have a special drink with dinner. So you might feel like your drink is adding to the festive holiday. Um, if we look at scenario two, which is non-problematic substance use, um, for example, on another night you go out with friends and you have a bit too much to drink. The next day you're tired, you feel run down, but otherwise you're fine. If this situation isn't regular, alcohol may not be harmful. Moving into scenario three, um, potentially harmful. You might be noticing you're going out several nights a week. Alcohol is becoming a way to deal with stress at work. It's the only time you feel like you're having fun. Someone may start to feel or see serious consequences, feeling sick often, um, someone's employer's upset that they're often late and they're fighting more with friends. As we move to scenario four, where this could be a problematic and potentially a substance use disorder, someone here is drinking often, including by themselves. They're spending too much money on alcohol, missing a lot of work, and have alienated important friends and family. And perhaps they're using alcohol in risky ways like drinking and driving. This is a serious problem, and you can see serious consequences because of drinking. Hopefully breaking this down helps you understand how substance use is in black and white. If you are living with a substance use issue or you know someone who is, remember that you're not alone. Reach out to someone or seek professional help. We will leave resources in the text below. Thanks for watching and we wish you well on your journey to wellness.